So I hosted a fashion contest on my Discord to where people submitted their best Elden Bling and I chose the top 10 best ones to feature in this exact video. Now there were over 100 entries and plenty of cool and unique fashion among them, so it was very hard to narrow it down to just 10, so if you didn't make it to the cut, honestly just do better next time, I don't know what to say. It's fine, I still appreciate you though. Also, if you did want to join the Discord to share your fashion or just discuss random things Elden Ring related, the link is down in the description. Um, by the way, all the fashion that you see on screen right now is just random stuff that I threw together to make an intro. I don't really care about fashion, I just like to make my characters look stupid, but as you can tell by looking at this gameplay now, for only making it in 10 minutes, your boy has some nice drip, so I am definitely qualified to be the judge of all of these submissions. Anyway, that out the way, let's just get into it. Starting off the list at number 10, we have Baynana coming in with a submission of Lloyd the Brazen. Now, normally I would actually read the law, but this guy decided to like write an entire fanfiction and an entire paragraph of law. So you guys can like, you know, pause the video and read it if you want to. Um, you know, I just said a sentence of law when I actually made this contest. Uh, but guys are out here actually like writing entire fanfictions. That's cool. I appreciate the effort. It's a fashion contest. So we're going to get into the fashion. Now, starting off with the helmet of choosing, it is going to be the Banished Knight Helm, the altered version of it. Really nice silver chest piece. Going into the Beast Champion armor, then the Blight Gauntlets and the Scaled Grey. So it's a really nice silver looking set. I'm going to have the Roller Grey Sword as your main weapon option. It does float together nicely. Nice amounts of blue, nice amounts of gold and silver as well. Obviously, silver being the primary option here. But like it all flows together very nicely. Definitely one of the cooler silver looking sets in the game. At number 9, we have a submission by Hellbeast with a character which he also named Hellbeast. Now, the lore behind this guy is that he is just a demon, I guess. And honestly, that's perfect because demons are great. Look at this guy. It's awesome. I just like theme based builds, and like this one is the theme of a demon and it's red. I like the color red. It's gonna be a soft spot. My stupid, dumb little kid brain is very excited when I see this thingy. Now, the set that he is wearing is going to be the Great Horned Headband, which is actually find off the Ancestor Followers, uh, the Omen Gauntlets, which you find off the Dung Eater set, and then the Rotten Duelist Greaves, which obviously you find off the Rotten Duelist himself. I forget where exactly you actually find this thing. Um, but yes, it's a demon. That's literally all you gotta know. He looks awesome, badass. The three fingers burnt onto his chest is a very nice touch, and then the yellow eyes make him look definitely very demonish. 10 out of 10. Seton, Vessel of the Lands. Now, Seton's lore is that he gave his life protecting the lands between from those meant to destroy it. For that, he was granted a new life and became one with the lands themselves. Now, the reason why Seton made it onto the list is because he looked like me for real. Damn, look at this absolute Chad with them abs. He's ripped, but not for real though. Absolute amazing drip from the navy hood down to the Lusats manchets. Amazing blue color schemes matches well with his skin tone. I don't really care much for the color blue, but it looks really banging here and then matches well with that manly ass beard as well. I fuck with that. And down to the Noxus Greaves, really nice um, plain looking color, but it matches perfectly as well. But getting into the oversaturated gameplay, absolute chat. Just throwing around a bunch of rocks. What more can you want from this badass man right here? Setting number eight. Next up, we have a submission from Pen Laudant with a character named Orchid. Now, Orchid's lore is that he was a tarnished named after a flower of love and beauty. This love would manifest in an obsession with the gloam eyed queen, who he would seek favor with through slaying the gods. Demigod after demigod, he would fell in his pursuit of the queen's acknowledgement and love. Now, this submission also comes with a musical reference. Now, Pen Laudant has referenced. Black Sabbath Master of Reality album, which is really cool because, you know, your boy loves country music. Kanye West is my favorite. But now, seriously, Pen Laudant has had a whole bunch of submissions with, like, entire fan fictions of his characters with musical references as well. But this one, I chose this one because it has the best drip, and we'll get into it. Wearing the Banished Knight Helm, which is definitely one of the best helmets in the entire game because it has a cool raggedy red scarf with, you know, a cool-looking knight helmet. I'm going into the Gold Mask Rags, which is, like, another, like, raggedy-looking cloth, but, you know, obviously, it fits well with the scarf itself. And then Redan's Gauntlets and Greys, which look cool because, you know, the fur and fur equals drip, but it also doesn't end there. He is actually power sensing both of the Faith Colossal Swords, which actually are very, look very drippy and actually go well to, um, together as well. And he also is wielding the Black Flame Incantations, which, you know, Black Flame does also equal drip. So overall, very solid submission. Now, next, we have a build from Communist Gun called Reaper of Death. Now, the Reaper of Death is the Avenger of those who live in death. It's so simple, yet it's just so perfect. 
Reapers are just amazing. Once again, it just like pleases my dumb little stupid kid brain. Anything that has the Grave Scythe is its immediate 10 out of 10 drip. But like getting into the armor itself, it's just the Knight Cavalry set, which obviously just amazing drip, and the Royal Remains Helm. Cool skeleton, really nice Reaper build itself, but getting into the actual gameplay, man's using the Rykard's Rancor, the Ancient Death Rancor, the Tibia's Summons, which are kind of like mid spells, but obviously they all fit the nice skeleton theme, and it's actually using the Black Flame incantations as well. Nice black, dark, skeleton reaper theme it's simple but he just executes it perfectly amazing now here we have a character from aiden called small peepee -Pee. now the character lore behind small peepee -Pee is that he wanted to create a character that resembled how he sees himself in real life so it's kind of mid lore but the character himself is uh kind of clean very clean i don't care much for blue and gold themes but this one is executed perfectly like actually perfectly he has the crystal sword the blue and gold kite shield and the navy hood and all of these blue items are from completely different sources and he managed to like just put them all into one build and actually make it work somehow. Also he is wearing the Lendel knight armor and both the Trace Sentinel greaves and gauntlets. Also it does actually have the gilded iron shield for another gold type of shield to just if he wants to go for an all gold gameplay and also has the slender sword which is another gold piece that matches perfectly with this build. Also with a straight sword. Um, it would be cool if we could actually could power stand some but um it still looks very drippy. I just like the how the gold blends in nicely with the blue itself. Um, very solid. Good job. Now here we have a submission from Dank Souls called the Battle Executioner. Now the Battle Executioner's lore is that he be executing stuff. Nice. You love to see it. Very simplistic. So does the character. Looks very simplistic, but it works so well and it fits perfectly. I love this look a lot. But getting into it, he's wielding the Page Hood. The Volga Militia chest piece, the Iron Gauntlet, and the Foot Soldier Greaves. I don't know how he pulled all of these different random ass pieces from different sets and managed to make it fit into one type of character, but um, he did. Normally, like all the black and gray chest pieces and pieces themselves just don't really match with anything, but he made it work here. I don't know how he pulled off the page hood and actually still make it work and look like an executioner because the page enemies are just like random ass skinny puny looking guys that wield crossbows. But um, he made it look menacing here, which is really well done. Uh, also is wielding the Crescent Moonax, which obviously does really fit the theme of the executioner itself because it does have a really nice long curved blade. Um, he also is using, using the Pylori shield. I don't know why many of you guys are not welding shields, but shields definitely add towards the drip. They add towards the fashion, and this one definitely enhances the entire fashion set itself. I give this one a 10 out of 10. Number three, we have Melody coming in with the Draconic Fighter. Now, the lore of the Draconic Fighter is that she comes from the deserts far from the lands between, where dragons are but a legend passed down through generations greatly feared by all. Yet she felt only respect and admiration for the beasts, seeking to harness their power for herself one day. I like this shit right here. The red and the black is my aesthetic. I love that stuff. The mainly black with the red tinges, that is what I like. But getting into the set itself, the Banished Knight Helmet, once again, amazing drip. It has that cool red scarf. The Champion Pauldrons also get that little bit of red tinge to it. The Drake Knight Gauntlets also a little bit of red. And the Sanguine Noble Waistcloth, one of the coolest leg pieces in the game because it's mainly black and it has those cool red tinge on the inside. You like to see the red. It's really cool. Also, wielding some of the coolest weapons, aesthetically speaking at least, in the Scorpion Stinger. Albeit it's a kind of mid weapon because it doesn't get a unique weapon skill, but that's besides the point because it looks very drippy. Also nice and red, does match the theme of the build itself. Um, as for the gameplay though, just pretty much using the dragon types incantations, which actually does fit the lore itself, which is actually kind of cool. Dragons are kind of based, I guess, because, you know, very cool, amazing looking stuff. Does actually, you know, please my stupid little kid brain. 10 out of 10. At number two, we have Jaden Fowl coming in with Thane, the Dusk Vanguard. Now, Thane does not actually have any law. There was no law that came alongside with him, and honestly, he does not need it. Look at this dude. He's an absolute chad. Every single hair follicle on this man's beard probably tells a war story. This man does not need any type of lore whatsoever, but honestly, I know I'm probably like biased against like dark and black theme sets, but look, look how cool this shit looks. I have to put it on the list. It has to get number two. But starting right at the top, the alternate version of the Eccentric Hood, the Blide Gauntlets, the alternate version of the Knight Rider chest piece, and the Fire Prelate's legs. This man definitely took advantage of the alternate version of the armor sets, which is a terrible mechanic in this game because it's not really like, you know, fleshed out as much as I would like. But he definitely took advantage of it here and it looks really, really cool. And he also is wearing the um, 
long haft axe and the iron round shield, which are both more black and dark gray looking weapons, which obviously fits the entire theme of the build. Definitely the coolest black set I've ever seen. 10 out of 10. Number one, Deucalion comes in with the duelist Barnabas Thon. This motherfucker just gets number one purely because of his name. Barnabas Thon? Who the fuck thought of this shit? What the f- Barnabas Thon is the coolest name I've ever heard in my entire life. I'm naming my child that. That shit's amazing. Anyway, the lore of Barnabas Thon. Uh, Barnabas was a duelist of old Lendel, something that led to his shunning after ritual combat was done away with. He was a teacher of sorts to some of the younger fighters, shunning the brutal axes and hammers of the other combatants for more serpent-like strikes of more articulate weapons. Anyway, let's see what this man has cooked up for us in the armor department. He is wearing the leather gloves, pages, boots, and aristocrats coat. So it is a pretty simplistic look, has some nice camouflage to it. But um, this man's face, I don't know how these guys can design such awesome looking faces. It looks like they're pulled straight out of like a AAA title. I don't know how you can make Elden Ring character creation look like that. When I do it, it looks like this. I don't, I don't, how do you do it like that? That's awesome. Anyway. He also is wearing an eye patch as well, which honestly is kind of base. You can do that through the customization screen. But he is also dual wielding a couple of thrusting swords, which definitely fits the theme and the lore of his character itself. Um, he's wearing a small shield, does actually have a bow in his back pocket also. But like, yeah, the entire fit, the entire theme of it, I like it. I don't know, words can't really describe how much I like this guy's name as well. Barnabas Thon. He even looks like a Barnabas Thon. This is great. I like this shit. 10 out of 10. But uh, yeah, that pretty much concludes it for this one. Uh, once again, I do appreciate everyone for submitting their fashion into my Discord. If you didn't make it, I'm sorry. We might do another one sometime soon, probably like later down the road. Who knows? Uh, do comment down below if you actually do want to see another top 10 of some sort as well. Um, as always, please do like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.